is up? What is up? What is up, y'all? It's your girl, the master girl. What is up? Look, y'all gonna take a ride with me today. <clears throat> I was gonna do this at the house, but you know, we're gonna do it in the car. So, look, um, today is January 30th. January has come and gone, y'all. Come and gone. Tomorrow's the last day. It has come through and gone away. Um, I hope y'all have had a joyous or a good start to the new year in this first month of the new year. Uh, if you haven't, you know, try to make the next month uh, a better month. Uh, I really didn't have nothing to talk about today. I guess that's why I'm doing this like this. Um, actually, I did think of something to talk about. So, um, let's say this. When y'all going to, to, to places to, um, you know, uh, restaurants, you know, where it's customer relations and customer service built relation, and you're going there as a customer. Remember, there are rules and regulations to what these people are having to do. So there are rules and regulations to the things they can say and do. Uh, remember, that is not they company unless you're talking to the owner. Remember, that is not uh, they company unless uh, they are the owner. Uh, so remember that. So we don't, we don't, when we work in customer relations, most of us really <clears throat> don't give a fuck about your feelings uh, when it comes to us doing the rules and regulations the way they want us to do the rules and regulations. Uh, when, you know, people are trying to explain to you why you can do it, but you can't do it. I mean, you can do it, but you, you're going to lose out on this. Uh, and that's the situation I had. And, you know, you cussing because, you know, oh, this is the stupidest shit I, I'd have never heard. But it's, it's the rules and regulations. Oh, I'm going to have the dude tell me, oh, I'm going to have my baby mama call in. Had it. I'm telling you, I'm so, I'm so sick of it. I <laughs> say, so have a little hoe call it. Have a call it. Do it look like I give a a fuck. I, I don't, I give no fucks. I don't care. I don't care. I, I will not be fired for enforcing their rules and regulations. And if I am, that's their rules and regulations and they feel like I need to go, then, then, that's okay. But I, I doubt, I'm, 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 I'm doubting that will happen. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And, you know, I'm trying to explain to you, you know, when you do, when you change this situation, then you're you're out of this situation, and you want to be in that situation, but you want you want a bonus. So, no, I'm not for the, you know, that's great. I ain't never heard. Baby, it's the rules and regulations. Okay, I'm just I'm just enforcing what they told me to. So, that's how pretty much this situation went down uh, but yeah you know <laughs> one of my employees was like why are you so rude and cussing us like just people want what they want and they think they can talk a certain way and think it's gonna bully people into now that I said the cat I mean I'm, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do I just work here I just work here take it over court send it in send it in nothing's gonna happen but send it in they can care less about that. About that, you still pay for that ticket. You still stayed there. You still bought everything you bought. You didn't refund nothing. Again, they may, they may, and they ain't been doing that. They used to send passes out, but they, they ain't been doing that lately. So I think y'all just out of luck. So uh, the one thing I did that was just a rant, but the one thing I uh, did uh, want to talk about because it, it, it. it fell upon my spirit uh is um i bought well my sister bought you know one of them tiktok made me buy type of deals so about this this colon cleanser if and if you on tiktok i know y'all probably seen it and uh probably wondered if it really worked because it supposed to make you lose weight and all this here so i've been drinking it right 
and uh, you know for the first week they say you're supposed to just drink one dose of it uh, a day just to get your body acclimated to you know drinking it because you you know you up in your fiber and all that good stuff so um, so I've been drinking it about noonish every day uh, for the past I think I'm about I hate when I'm driving and then I gotta smell weed. I hate the smell of weed. Let me tell y'all something. I hate the smell of weed. I'm getting off task because I'm driving. But I hate, absolutely hate, the smell of weed. Maybe I shouldn't say hate because hate is a strong I dislike very strongly the smell of weed. Weed is not a perfume. I've said this before. Weed, is, weed smell is not a perfume. Uh, I don't know how girls walk around smelling, especially girls. I don't know how dudes walk around smelling like that. That is that is not a fun thing. It is very much a turn off for me. Uh, to each his own. Smoke your weed though. Smoke your weed. I'm saying I'm not saying do, not do it. I'm just saying don't smell like because I mean it is it's 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 stinky. It's stinky. Now I personally have not partaken in the weed. I think I'm crazy enough, and I don't know what that would do to my brain stem cells uh, if I was to do it. So. Um, I probably would never know how I would feel to be high off some weed because I can't stand the smell of it. And the stinkier yeah, it is, the more y'all be like, ooh, this some good, this some good. <laughs> anyway, and I know I was about the flavors and the gelatos and the droves and the peanut butter crackers and the uh, uh, purple... Uh, purple cushion and I, I know I, I, I heard about all of it but I don't want to try none of it y'all do it though we smell it's not a perfume I can't stand the smell of it but do y'all stuff <laughs> do what you gotta do baby if that's, that's weed that's alcohol it's, and I'm not condoning none of this here cause I mean I had a vice too I used to uh, drink all day every day do I got lotion still y'all been letting me talk with that lotion still white lotion like I did something this morning um, but, uh, let me check myself. Anyway, back to the colon cleanse. Um, so I've been drinking it, right? And I'm thinking, boom, I'm gonna drink it. Just gonna, just, the first day I just knew I was just gonna erupt. I was just gonna, it was just gonna flush me out. Nothing. By three o'clock in the morning, really bad stomach ache, hurting bad. Have to go to the restroom, go in the restroom, and it's not it's not flowing easily either. You know, I'm having to push and grunt and stuff a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So next night, boom, again. Pushing and grunting. This morning, mmm, pushing same time, two and three o'clock in the morning. So today I'm gonna take a little break just to see if I get that stomach ache in them so I so I can see if that's what it is now it is making me go but it's not as productive if I, as I thought it would be um, maybe because of all the medicine I'm on and all that good stuff maybe I need to look into that uh, but I thought it would help because you know it ups your fiber intake and you know the doctor told me I need to up my fiber because of the medicine you know slowing down my boo-boo process and you know um, those that know me I, I'm a goer I, well, I was a goer until I started taking medicine so uh, you know I'm not liking this not going type of deal so anyways I'm gonna get off of here but uh if y'all try it, try it. Now, look, one of my employees did try it with me. He has been trying it with me. And he's like, ooh, Miss Lily, it's working. I, I go and boom, it just, it just, but it ain't doing me like that. But he's not on medicine. He already had been working out. Maybe I need to start working out, but I walk around all day. So I don't understand why it's not flowing the way he is flowing. Because I want to be cleaned out real good, like he been getting cleaned out. But anyway, I'm done. Don't do that. I wouldn't do it. And if you do, do it better. Deuces.